Welcome back, everybody. Pakistan, a wonderful career at the top of the order for Pakistan in T20 cricket. Nathan Coulton-Isle will open the bowling for Australia. He's had his history of injuries, but he is back and firing. And we are set to go in this opening T20. Australia taking on Pakistan. Very young at this level, uh, age 24. Uh, only played uh, 21 games. It's a very young Pakistani T20 team. Flicked away beautifully. Hit out of the middle of the bat. And that will be the first boundary tonight. Clicked away. He can't bowl short on this pitch. Set up beautifully. And Barber's away. Straight up in the air. This should be taken. And it is comfortably. Top edge. A little extra bounce from Stanley. He's done the job for Australia. Wonderfully taken. It's never easy when they go that high. Beautifully taken. Pakazaman, the dangerous Pakazaman has gone for 14. He's 32 for one. So Pakistan lose their first wicket. Inside the power play, Mohammad Afiz strolls to the crease. Oh, what about that for a reply? Beautifully timed. This could be the first big one. It's a big hit. It's a six. First of the evening. Classy hit. Such class that he comes down the track, 80 meters, uh, made it look effortless. Just the footwork, and then that complete bat flow. Oh. How good is that shot? Absolutely gorgeous shot from Hafiz. Powered down the ground. That'll be a boundary. Beautiful shot from Baba. He looks in great touch. Crossed up again. He's gone down the ground. Has he got enough? Yes, he has, Hafiz. Great timing. That's a maximum. He didn't hit it too hard. All he did was just pure timing. Went far. 85 meters. Magnificent hit. Short pulled away. Is it a chance at long on? Should be taken and is taken comfortably. McDermott's the man and Hafiz has to go. Was trying to hit a six, trying to go over the mid on fielder. An easy catch. He was waiting for it. Then McDermott was the man who took that uh, comfortably. Mama Hafiz gone for 39 is 105 for two. Zampa starts a new over. It's tucked nicely in the leg side. Pakistan pushing hard for two. That's quality batting. And that's 50 for Baba Azam from just 42 deliveries. His third consecutive 50 in T20 internationals. He's played beautifully once again. Yeah, keeping his good form going. Baba Azam batted very, very nicely. I have indeed. Thanks, guys. Got Mickey Arthur alongside me. I must have been happy with the power play and also the, the start in the first 10 overs. Yeah, really happy with that. I thought we, I thought we attacked it really well and uh, we sort of put the pressure back on them. And we came out of Champions Trophy ah! where we played with a little bit of fear. Um, so right now, right now we've done, we've, we, we've done particularly well. I think we've just lost a wicket, which is... We have indeed. Well, if you guys get to 180, you're doing pretty well. So we'll take it back upstairs. Thanks, mate. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Brendan. And uh, Pakistan have lost another wicket. Asif Ali, plum LBW to Adam Zampa. It's fast and flat. Asif Ali going back. And that was going to cannon into middle stump about halfway up. Zampa knew he got his man. So that's the third Pakistan wicket to go down for 110. Asif Ali must go for two. nicely into the gap should get back for two or oh, another misfield and oh it's boundary Colton now coming on to ball covers the stumps and hits a gigantic ball it's a six big one from Baba working his way well that's taken that's a very good catch and finished there 
And a much needed catch for the Australians. Aaron Finch leading from the front. They haven't quite been on it in the field tonight. When batsmen are starting to take you towards the end of the inning, so you've got to make sure you take your catches in the captain led. Say nine from six, he's got to go. Go on first ball, it's a straightforward catch. Maxwell takes it. Another wicket falls. He doesn't like it, captain is in. The seam up delivery right out of the middle of the bat. And Glenn Maxwell doesn't miss those ones. One for not, 130 for five. On a hat-trick, Andrew Ty, not for the first time in T20 cricket. Once he achieved that milestone in IPL and twice in Big Bash. It was a good ball, almost a hat-trick, Yorker. Oh, that's maybe going down the leg side. Australia peeling and it's a delayed response from the umpire. Gone for a DRS here, Pakistan. Just clipping the top of middle stump, middle and leg stump. So it's the umpire's call. Pakistan lose their captain. Yeah, he's gone as well. So Pakistan losing wickets in a heap. Captain gone, but not. That's gone up in the air. Another wicket may fall here. Pakistan losing the plot. That's a very good catch. A sky are taken. One stage, the coach, Mickey Arthur, was looking at 180, but a top edge into the deep. Never easy to try and play that shot against Billy Stanley. And in the end, an easy catch in the deep by McDermott. So two wickets in that over to four for Pakistan. Lost four quick wickets and held back the run rate. Sadaf Khan goes for one, Pakistan 133 for seven. Hits it straight down the throat of the man at cover. That's a busy, busy area for Australia and Pakistan not learning. Another one bites the dust. The third wicket for Andrew Tai. It's been the Andrew Tai and Billy Stanley combination that's really halted Pakistan. Picked out that man again, Glenn Maxwell, at cover straight to him. Right on the chest. An easy catch and an easy dismissal. It's actually Aaron Finch. And Safraz Ahmed, the Pakistan captain, not happy. It's been a disaster in the last five wickets. But three runs. 133 for eight. Yorker gets in four. Short ball, that's hit for six. That's gone, done the distance. Well, they get more than 150. They keep hitting them like this. Well, Nathan called an old change this length. He went to Yorker. He got jammed down. It was a lucky boundary. And then went, no, nah, I'm going to go back to length and see what happens. Well, that's what happened. Needed to go for that Yorker once again. Decent strike from Hassan. Full toss. That's gone up in the air. Is that going to be another six? Well, that's dropped by the fielder. He was actually looking at the rope before that, and it is a boundary, it is four. It's a good Yorker. Only a single of the last ball of the over, but a very, very good over for Pakistan. They end up the innings with 155 for the loss out of eight wickets. Could have been a lot better for them if they had not lost so many wickets in the middle of the innings. But Australia fought back extremely well. They'd be delighted with how things ended up for them. It's not a gigantic score, even though Pakistan possess a fantastic bowling attack. So this should be a very good contest, but they'd be uh, on a little bit of a high as they walk back to the dugout. So I welcome Wakar Yunus to the commentary box. What do you think Australia's tactics will be in this run chase, Wakar? Well, I have a feeling, uh, you know, looking at the batting lineup, I think they're going to go really hard uh, to start off. There's right hand, left hand combination to Darcy Short, who's, uh, who's been wonderful in this in this uh, format 76 is highest so here we go Mad to finch 
Well, already giving himself room, Aaron Finch. Looking to hit the ball over the offside, putting some pressure. Oh! And Finch goes for a dark. What a start for Pakistan. Imad gets his man. What a comeback by Imad Wasim. He's been out of the team for a while now. Coming back, bowling his first over and picking up a wicket off Finch. What a delivery. Finch moving away from the stumps once again. This is the third time he did that. This time around, he was looking to target the stump ball, coming back into the right hander and thrashing into the stumps. Big wicket, massive wicket. Good start from Pakistan. Finch gone without scoring. So Chris Lynn comes to the crease after just three balls in Australia's innings. Look at that strike rate, 139. It's the 12 matches for Australia in T20 internationals. A very, very dangerous player indeed. Powerful hitter. Oh! He's got him two, chopped on. Australia lose their second. Darcy Short now on his way back to the pavilion. Imad on fire. Well, you can't ask for a better start for Pakistan. Imad Wasim picking up his second wicket of the over. Maybe a little bit inside edge. And on to the stumps. Very similar delivery to Aaron Fitch. This time this was going away from the left hander. Inside edge onto the middle stump. Big wicket. Two of the over. And look at that celebration. He's a happy man. Welcome back to Pakistan. Darcy Short's on his way, he's gone for four. Australia in trouble early, five for two. Well, what a first over for Pakistan. Picked up two wickets. Imad Vazim on fire. Glenn Maxwell, I'm sure he would have been hoping not to have come in this early, but look at that record. Strike rate 162, best of 145. He's 51 matches for Australia. Two centuries to his name. There's two from the over so far from for him. Oh, it's upishly hit, but in the gap. And that'll be a boundary to Chris Lynn. Good finish to the over for Australia. Six runs from Fahim's first over. Australia 11 for two. Got him! Maxwell goes for the big one. He misses. Fahim has his first wicket of the night. What is Australia doing? They're all over the place. Now Maxwell giving himself room, looking to go over the offside. Canning in the middle stump. It's a big wicket for Pakistan. Australia in deep trouble. They lose their third wicket in the batting power play. Maxwell goes for two, Australia 16 for three. Oh, a chance, chance at the bowl is in, the dive just misses. Well, has it? No, it has hit the stumps. Well, Ben McDermott going for the quick single. We'll have to check with the third umpire to see if he's short of his ground. You can see there clearly he's still short of his ground. I think Ben McDermott's in trouble here. Well, the bail is definitely out of the groove so that's clearly for me I think it's out the umpires taking a long time to make a decision yeah there it is confirmation Pakistan have their fourth wicket inside four overs needless run out for Australia Ben McDermott going for the quick single. He can't believe it. He goes for a dark Australia in all kinds of trouble here in Abu Dhabi. 16 for four. Ah, ah, Chance ah. is it and given, yes. Alex Carey now has to go. Just a little feather outside off stump and well taken by the captain Safraz. Australia have lost five inside the power play. What a comeback by Imad Wasim been out of the game for 12 months and the third wicket another wonderful delivery
going away from the left hander wasn't really sure which way to go go forward or go back purely because of the length and an excellent catch taken by the captain himself that's the fifth wicket australia all over the place carry gone for one is australia 22 for five and gone it's Lynn who's been dismissed Fahim Ashraf is bowling at a rapid pace hitting the stumps the fans are loving every bit of this Australia knocked out in the first 5.2 overs 22 for the loss of 6 Pakistan roaring back after a bit of a failure with the bat in the last part of the innings this is wonderful bowling length bowling at its best just training up a little bit and disaster for Australia six down Pakistan hitting the stumps for fun Fahim Ashraf now with his second clean bowl Pakistan have just dismantled the top order and Lynn has to walk back just for 14 22 for six Around the wicket this time with the right hand, that's through, that'll help. Playing his shots, Nathan coulton -Isle. And they have to, at this stage, the Aussies, after 10 overs. And another one, just over cover, so that's the second boundary in five overs for the Australians. That's well timed, and this could be the third boundary of the over, but it is. Well, these will help for the Australians. They limp to the 50 mark, but for six wickets in the shed. That's out. Straight through. Outside edge. Number seven goes down for the Australians. Egger was looking to hit it hard, looking to go hard at it. Got a thick outside edge, and it did carry to the wicket keeper. Seventh wicket down. First one for Hassan Ali. 60 for 7. Aga gone for 19. Straight up in the air. Mid on's got to go back, not coming in. And oh, it didn't look comfortable. Can't believe he's taken it. He's made a simple catch really hard in the end, but taken a good one. He's got to come back. He was scooped up in the air. He went really high, gave him enough time to sort of readjust and come back. Good thing is that he kept his eyes on the ball and took it beautifully. Took a blinder. It was a blinder. Beautiful. 72 for eight. Zampa gone for three. Beautifully bowled. Takes the middle one. It's well deserved from Shaheen. Number nine goes down for the Australians. Good pacey delivery. That's the ninth wicket gone. Shine Shah Freedy getting better and better every day. 78 for nine. That's a slice over the infield for runs. He's a strong bloke. They'll hit the fence. That's a good back foot shot. Such a strong player called Nile had put one away from the deep fielder. Yeah! Got him, that is it. He's lost the bat. And uh, Australia have lost the battle. The game is over. 29th time that Pakistan have bowled out an opposition in T20 cricket. That is massive. Most by, a, by an international side and Pakistan over the line with a massive margin of 66. Terrific all-round performance. So there's the summary. Pakistan batting first. 155 for eight. Largely due to Baba Razam, 68 not out. Australian bowlers Stan Lake and Ty did well with the ball. And Australia in reply. All out. For 89, Fulton Isle top scoring with 34. All the Pakistani bowlers 
getting in on the act as Pakistan won by 66 runs in the first T20 international.